What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the DeFi Nerd and today we're going to be going through uh, four different things on this video uh, and uh, one of them is uh, how to uh, create your DeFi wallet and how uh, how the DeFi wallet works a little bit and uh, the next one is CDC so how we're going to transfer CDC so the uh, crypto.com to DeFi to the DeFi wallet and then at the end we're going to be talking about tonic supply and tonic staking and how to do it in your app uh, it's a little different to do it on your um, on the uh, uh, desktop but uh, we're going to be doing it on the app as I only use my cell phone for these videos okay so let's go into the DeFi wallet okay here we go and we're also going to be talking about bridging guys well, bridging that uh, from crypto.com from crypto um, coin to the um, to the Kronos beta coin right and that is actually very simple so we'll go ahead and do that right now okay so as you can see here there it is guys so all you got to go do is when you're in your DeFi wallet account all you got to do is go down to the bottom of it okay and you'll have your bridge through chain migrate assets to Kronos right and so you just click on that and then you have you have your uh, Chronos, Chronos.org to Chronos Beta, right? And so you're just gonna go ahead and push that, and you confirm your Chronos.org, and that is it. And now I don't have any Chronos.org. I have I have everything in Chronos Beta, and so you'll do that. So if it's like this, all you have to do is flip it over. There you go, and then you can go back to Crypto.org. Uh, if you needed to transfer money from Crypto. If you, if you needed uh, crypto.com coins to go back into your wallet on the main app on the on the uh, CDC app then you have to tr you have to convert your Kronos beta back to crypto.org that way you can transfer them over and then you can cash them out if you wanted to however if you're coming from the the app you want to transfer them to Kronos so that you can use them as as um, uh, to cover the fees right and so I don't have any crypto.org uh, coins in here because I've already transferred them to Kronos now I only use the Kronos uh, coin here for fees guys so I don't have a lot of coins here I only I put about 20 or 30 coins at a time and then when that runs out uh, from trading or whatnot then I'll just push in a few more coins but I don't keep a lot of Kronos coins in here uh, because I have them I'm on the other side trading from the uh, from the app okay so uh, so that's how you do that that's not a complicated thing and so uh, let's go into how to open a wallet right so if you if you don't have a wallet at all if you, you can go up to the settings here and you create a wallet okay now if you have a wallet already then you don't need this part of the video and you can skip ahead to the other areas okay so uh, you go and so all you have to do is add the add a new wallet okay create a new wallet and you have to name it there you go uh, yes I've read and then continue okay and then by this time at this time you would need your backup recovery phrase so it's a 12 letter it's a 12 word phrase in order 1 through 12 okay so I'm not gonna I'm not doing that because I don't want to open up another wallet um, so let me see here see if I can get out of here okay remind you later and there's wallet 3 so now you can just name it right and then at this point you'll have your other wallet okay so let me go back back there you go and I did not I didn't finish the wallet so it's not gonna come up alright so that's that's how you make the wallet if you if you haven't opened the wallet yet so at this point that is how you end up making that wallet and getting that done also just a few features here that you won't find on like on ethereum is uh on the like on metamask would be that this here guys okay this actually tells you the rate at which you would have to pay if you're trading ethereum coins okay so you can uh, uh, so depending on how fast you want it then you'll be paying it a little different now uh, swap and earn is actually pretty cheap today it's around forty dollars but uh, I usually don't 
trade ETH just because of how expensive it is for the fees. So I usually just stay on Binance and Kronos for trading. Um, so that would be it, guys. I think we are done with that. Let's go ahead and move on to... Let me see here if I can find... Okay, go back up. Connect your wallet. Connect to Crypto.com app. So once you have your wallet up, you go into the settings. Let's go back. You go to your uh, icon here. Go into the settings and uh, go into connect to crypto.com app and you just go in there and it would it's not going to connect you have to do a few other things to get it done but after you're in this area then it's kind of self-explanatory and you should be good uh, don't forget that you do need a 2fa uh, authenticator for the crypto.com app and to send any money out you do need that 2fa so if you don't have that 2fa on the actual app itself you're not going to be able to get you're not going to be able to send any money to your wallet to your DeFi wallet so just make sure that you are uh, aware of that and that uh, you can get it done you can't do anything without the 2FA on this uh, CD, CDC account on the app uh, the only thing that you can do is send crypto to another person and you would have to deactivate the 2FA for that but when it's once it's deactivated then you can send through the crypto app from the crypto app to another crypto app say a friend or, or something like that um, without without the 2FA but you do have to go into settings and you have to deactivate it otherwise it's always gonna let you it's always gonna make you do it okay so to transfer money from the to transfer money from uh, the crypto.com app it's it's a very simple process you just gotta go to home and you transfer your money here right and you go into withdraw and you go into withdraw crypto to other platforms right and you can get again you can do crypto.com users if you're going to send it to somebody else so essentially it's kind of like PayPal to PayPal right and you'll be able to use your phone number so if they have whatever phone number they have registered on their app that would be the phone number that you would be using to to send money to that person okay and so then you have your crypto.com DeFi wallet which if it's connected you don't have to do anything else you just gotta click it and it's gonna tell you to send the money you'll have your coins that are available due to you and then all you have to do is send them off all right and so the next thing would be again transfer withdraw crypto and this would be an external wallet so this would be like your metamask or your trust wallet or whatever that you have going on um, so it will ask you to to add a wallet see wallet address or pay string and then at that point again you can just send it off so this is uh, using the app it's not it's not complicated at all it's it's quite simple uh, you just have to take the time to go through it and kind of explore on what, what your settings are and how to do things guys so just take that time so that if you need it you don't have to be stressed out about how to do it right okay so uh, that is it for the uh, transfer from CDC to the DeFi wallet uh, mind you guys that when you do that when you get that done uh, it can take a little bit of time you know it can take it can take 20 minutes it can take 30 minutes it can even take an hour depending on the coin that you have I've never had it take an hour but there has been one time where I sent some coins and it took about 30 minutes to get there it was about 25 minutes or so so just be patient with it if you don't get it within the hour then you can go ahead and contact the uh, the, the CMC helpline and they can figure out what's going on with it uh, CDC does have issues with with congestion and so a lot of times it just slows down slows down the system and then you'll have issues with trying to get it uh, it will eventually get there but sometimes it just takes time all right so let's go ahead and push into the tonic right uh, the biggest issue was uh, I, there was a lot of confusion with how supplying goes and how tonic goes and it is it is confusing if you don't know how to do it uh, I'm still learning how to do it guys so um, just be patient with yourself don't get frustrated and just take the time to go in there and figure things out 
Okay guys, so now let's go ahead and go into the tonic supplying area and the tonic staking and uh, take the time to go in there and see how it works. Okay, so if you go into your DAPS area down here, you will have all your DAPS, right? And uh, I don't even know, honestly, I don't even know half of these things because I usually just stick with one or two that I use, VVS and uh, Tectonic and MM Finance. So I don't go into everything else. All right, so uh, uh, we're going to Tectonic, all right, and take a little time here to load. All right, so we're in we're in the Tectonic area, and so so if you want to supply, you just have to go down to your tonic or whatever coin you want to supply. You can supply any coin that is in the market area. If you want to supply USDT. And buy tonic, you can do that. Uh, if you want to, you know, wh whatever you want to do, you can you can always just supply or borrow any of the coins that you have down here, right? But it's always better to supply, I mean, to borrow a stable coin, a USDC, USDT, DAI, something that's pegged with the dollar. That way, if it if the market drops, then you don't you don't really lose that money. You you you'll lose a little bit of money, uh, but you won't be. Uh, it won't liquidate you when you use it as collateral right and so let me go in here all right and so at this point all you would have to do guys is go ahead and go into supply let this load uh, 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 uh. Uh, I think it's up there you go so all you have to do is go into supply and it will supply the tokens that you want it'll show you a uh, I'll show you uh, a max if you want to do max and I'll push it in there and then after that uh, you can go ahead and supply and then at the bottom here where it says borrow this is going to go ahead and, and kind of fuzz out where it will get kind of foggy and then it will tell you at the bottom you're not allowed to borrow tectonic because you are you are supplying it and so what you can do is you can go back you go back to your market all right, and then you end up going into another coin that you want, right? And then you can go ahead and borrow from that coin, right? You borrow from that coin, you borrow that coin, and then you can take it back and buy more tectonic with it and supply your more tectonic. So essentially, uh, you just go buy, you'll, you'll, prov you'll supply tectonic, borrow die, go out push it into your DeFi, buy Tectonic, and then push it back into the supply. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna keep allowing you to borrow more and more and more. And so you're just gaining, you're gaining more and more coins. Uh, you're gaining more and more in Tectonics uh, as, as the time goes uh, because you keep supplying it, right? And so that's that's how that works. And it's, it's a simple process. It's not that complicated. Uh, it's just it is sometimes difficult to navigate through all these uh, dApps and where to go and what to do. Okay, so if you want to supply though, if you want to, I'm sorry, if you want to stake, what you need to do is you go up here to the hamburger and then just push tonic down here. Okay, I think it works a little different on the uh, on the desktop. Uh, write down in the comments below if it works different or not. I'm pretty sure it does work different, but I've never done it on the desktop before, so. Uh, let me know in the comments if it does work a little different and uh, if you want to see that I will try to do my best to do it on the lap on the on my laptop or desktop or whatnot um, okay so here it is again uh, let me see here okay so here at this point you just push uh, stake tonic right and right now the current price is one uh, X tonic for every 1.2 tonic right and uh, and that's it okay so currently right now I am not pending cooldown on this one uh, let me see if I have any unstaked and the more there it goes okay so let me see here do, 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 do. I thought I was pending cooldown here okay yeah so pending cooldown so I am at nine days eight hours and 23 days so I just withdrew right and so what that's gonna do is it takes 10 it takes 10 days for the cooldown and then you can get your tonic out and then you can go back and redo it again if you want to uh, 
so thank you for listening thank you for watching the video and I uh, hope this video was informative and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video don't forget to like and subscribe